Uh, viewers Heather Maxwell, host of the Music Time in Africa radio show, speaks with veteran Semigua musician, composer and band leader uh, Jedu Blay Ambale from Accra to talk about his music and jazz mission. Play Ambole, nice to see you. Nice to see you after a long, long, long time. You are rocking and rolling. You have a new album out. Tell me about that. The new album is called um, Jedu Play Ambole and High Life Jazz. You know, living in America a little uh, some time ago, I thought that um, something needs to be done to the jazz music. Though jazz was originated in America, but the roots is in Africa. I told myself that I think it's about time that I bring jazz back to Africa. Africa, Africa. Are all of the band members Ghanaian? All of them. Because when I came back from America, I put this band together. And I saw some young and up and coming, you know, musicians that have potentials. So these are the kind of musicians that I put them all together. And we've been together for almost about 10 years now. COVID, you have been out and about in the world. I see you were in... Amsterdam, France. Rotterdam. Um, the Rotterdam, Germany, talking about Sweden. You know, I've been just coming around the European circles, and it's been wonderful. Since COVID, is this your first international tour since uh, 2019 or 2020? Uh, this is the second time around. We were supposed to go, but when the COVID came, everything was shut down. And since you know everything was shut, we had to wait until the it's been you know everything gets back to being lifted. Then at that time, the album had been released, so we thought that we need to you know uh, go on tour to promote the new album. Uh, we we went to a European tour, and that's what we did. I noticed in the recording uh, at Rotterdam, you sang a lot about mental slavery. And that reminds me of Fela Kuti's same words so many decades ago now. Is that really something on your mind still? Yes, basically it is because I think that Africa, you know, will be sleeping. And it's time for us to wake up because I kept on asking what, what is happening. I saw that, you know, the mental slavery, you know, the intellectual frustrations and everything, you know, it's, it's been going on for too long. And instead of Africa, for us to be together, uh, it has become individualism. It means that we can't get together to be able to uh, make Africa a better place for all of us and our children. Are you still calling your music Simigua? Yes, Simigua do. Can you describe it? Simigua in my language means I'm sitting on my stool, just like a king who is sitting. <laughs> From the initial time that I started music and started recording, that has been my, you know, my basic mindset. My music brings people together one way or the other, and uh, also, you know, inform people of what needs to be done. That hasn't been done. Do you plan on coming to the United States soon or doing another international tour soon? Very, I mean, looking forward to that. I mean, I think um, I've had enough of Europe. I think the next step has to be in America because whatever that we're doing, we hear you back in Africa. And when we hear you back in Africa, this is how we also contribute towards the, the format of jazz music that you've been able to come out with. J. Duble Ambole, thank you so much for joining me from, from Accra. Oh, thank you so much.